This video is brought to you by EcoFlow. Oh shit, that might be a vehicle shutting down. Fuck. Okay, we are totally dead. Thankfully we have the batteries with us and we can use them to charge up. So let's try them out. I can take the actual Tesla charger, plug it in, and it should turn green. All right, so for the past few years, my friends and I have been trying to find a legit solution to having a gas can for your Tesla or, or other EV. Although obviously not gas, just like a, a giant battery that could help you if and when you actually ran out of charge. When EcoFlow reached out claiming that they had done it, I had to test it out. Now, of course, the way I like to test things isn't uh, in a normal scientific type setting, but pushing it to the max and seeing what would happen if you completely ran out of juice in your EV. I mean, to the point, not where you hit zero miles, but it stopped going, which is usually, hopefully, a little bit further than that. Well, here's that story. But first, let's talk about these EcoFlow batteries themselves and see what we're working with. Here we have two batteries from EcoFlow. The one with all the charge ports on it is the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Now this one alone has a 3,600 watt hour capacity or 3.6 kilowatt hours as we would refer to it in the EV world. And that is in just this one unit. And then this one can be daisy chained and paired with other batteries to give it an extended capacity. Now note here by adding other batteries here, you're not doubling your output in terms of how much power you get out, but you are kind of making the battery bigger. So the Delta Pro is the key here. And this is the one that we're gonna try to use to charge my EV when it runs out of juice. Now full capacity, you can actually charge your house off of this thing. That's how much power it puts out. And that's why I kind of had some confidence going into this that it would work to charge my Tesla. And so speaking of power output, this can put out 3,600 watts of AC power, which meets 99.99% of your power needs. That is really enough to run heavy duty appliances such as a dryer or an electric kettle or an air conditioner. And it can even support 15 devices being plugged in at the same time. And with the double power hub or smart home panel, you can actually chain multiple units together to double that output to 7,200 watts. Now you can charge the Delta Pro from a regular outlet in your house, an AC wall outlet. You can use these solar panels and these can daisy chain together to create a quite a big solar array that are really pretty portable and easy to carry. You can see I set this one up here just in my front driveway and we were getting close to 400 watts on this one panel, which is really great and would charge this thing, you know, over a couple days all the way back up to full. So if you were camping or something like that, you could just take this with you and it legit is like having a generator that refills itself. You can also charge the Delta Pro from an EV station, meaning if you went to say a Tesla destination charger or uh, another level two public charger, you, there's an adapter here. You could plug that into this thing and charge it super quick. And I thought that was kind of interesting because if you were on a road trip, this might be something you want to take with you and you could just stop off at a charger wherever you're charging your car and pop in this to one of the other chargers and fill it up as you're there. It's kind of a neat, unique use case for the EV owner. Now again, I'm never going to do a sponsored video like this until I can actually prove that the product works. So in order to do that, we headed out from my house down here in San Diego up to my buddy Jehu's shop in LA with what I thought was enough battery to get us there but as you'll see, that didn't prove to be true. And I thought maybe I would just kind of coast into his shop and maybe have a couple miles left and we would just see what it was like with near zero miles. And this is what happened next. So heading up to Jehu's shop, like I mentioned, forgot to charge <laughs> and uh, we're at zero miles with uh, about five miles left to go. We may end up actually using these batteries to get there which I did want to demo, but I didn't, I didn't actually want to run out of juice. So, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, we're there. We're there. <laughs> One mile. We can push it. So we're behind a tractor. This is good because now I have a reason to go slow. Top speed right now, 32 miles an hour, 33. Like flooring it and we're at 37. 0.5 miles. Oh shit, that might be a vehicle shutting down. Fuck! 
Just looking for a parking lot. Okay, we found one. See, we could have made it. Look at him. Made it. I'm cruising. Okay, that's it, I think. Okay. Is it dead? <laughs> totally dead. Oh, no. Okay. We are totally dead. Won't go in drive or reverse. Vehicle charge immediately. Almost made it. Won't shift. Oh, we might not be able to move, dude. This isn't good. We're not in park. Okay, so now we get to test whether or not electrical system power reduced. Vehicle may shut down unexpectedly. Unable to drive. I just want it to be in neutral. That's all I want. Okay. So there's towing mode, which I think allows you to do the thing wherever that is. Range mode. I should have probably had that on a long time ago. <laughs> Service. Tow mode? Where do you see that? Oh. Okay. Okay, so we can push it. Right. It'd be nice to go backwards and then get into the spot. Let's see if we can do it. Not easy. Okay, here's a new thing. So we almost made it to Jehu's shop, but not quite. We're literally a half mile away. Thankfully we have the batteries with us and we can use them to charge up. I did want to test this, not literally in the event of running out of juice like this, but here we are. So now we got to see if these batteries can actually get us enough juice just to get over to Jehu's shop where he has a whole charger set up and we can kind of go from there. So let's try them out. You've got my EcoFlow Delta Pro. I've got my uh, Tesla UMC charger. This is one they give you. NEMA 1450 plug. And what I have to do actually is plug this into here. Plug this guy into here. And then this guy's gonna go into the car. So I turn this on. There's one extra trick here before I do this. Because you can't tell, but it's basically, it's red, meaning it's not ground. So you need something to make it feel like it's, it's ground, which looks something like this. This is a little tiny extra piece that will tell the, the charger for your car that there is a ground connection, even though it's not. You just plug that in here. Now I can plug this guy back in. Now I can take the actual Tesla charger, plug it in, and it should turn green. There it goes. So we're now charging, pulling in about 1.6 kilowatts, and it should bump up to about 3,600 here probably has to get warmed up but this is from a tesla battery that was completely dead we didn't just run it to zero we ran it past zero to where it actually stopped running okay so as i suspected it just took a little while essentially to warm up i did nothing different and now we're pulling 3.6 kilowatts which if we go in the car you're going to see is a lot more energy and is charging actually fairly quick especially from a little kind of Tesla gas can that I was able to keep in the trunk. Okay, so spent about 15, 20 minutes here. We're only, I don't know, not even a quarter mile away. So I think we have enough to go. And if not, we'll just have to stop again and plug in. You saw that it works pretty well. And if I was stranded further away, you know, we could just sit here longer and it'd be fine. So now we're gonna head over to Jehu's and see what else we can come up with with all the other batteries and things that he has going on. Made it. What's up, man? <laughs> How are you? You're always cutting it short, man. You're always on the edge. I got zero miles. Zero miles. Okay, so here at Jehu's shop. If you guys don't know him, definitely go check his channel out. He's the battery king of California. <laughs> 
And what we want to do here is he has a shop and we want to use one of these EcoFlow batteries to charge the shop. To Be power it. To power it, right, yeah. Right. And there's some equipment that you need to do that, which I didn't have at my house. And so I thought we could just do it here yeah. since you're already wired and, and good to go. Yeah. Um, so let's get the battery out. And then if you can walk us through what it takes to actually do that. Okay, no cool. problem. So this is what is commonly called a transfer switch. And every building should have this, every home should have this because it allows you to plug in a, a generator when the power goes out. Right. Right. So this is a thing that you'd have to buy and then have like electrician come and install it, you know, and then put it into your panel. It's just a little sub panel. So your panel here with your circuits, just like you'd have at your house, comes out of here into this in the event that the actual grid is no longer providing power you can run from here. Yes. That's the basic idea, right? Yeah. And all you have to do is just basically like choose which circuits because this one doesn't have the same amount of circuits. You can get like a really big one that yeah. has all the circuits, right? In this case, you just want your critical load circuits. Okay, right. So this is like, and if you did this at your house, you could install an actual separate panel that like if you get a power wall, I know you usually install a, a sub panel or something, right? Mm -hmm. With only those circuits that you want. Or if you have a gazillion power walls, you could do your whole thing. Well, this actually is a sub panel. Oh, right. That's it, what I mean. Yeah. It has uh, circuit breakers uh -huh. and it's got the circuit, you know, they're, they're a little bit different, but it yeah. essentially is a sub panel of that one. Right. Okay. And it has the ability to have an output or an input in this case, only for those circuits here. Got it. So that's where we're going to plug our okay. battery. Okay. Okay. Let's so now we're going to have to use a custom cable that I made, but can, you can also buy at the store. You can buy, there's a bunch of different plugs and you can buy extension cords that go from one plug to another. So this is kind of like your 30 amp connector, right? Or what is it exactly? Yeah, it's a 1430. Uh -huh. So this one will support split phase. Okay. But in this case, that's where this custom cable comes in. Okay. The Got reason it. I, we need that is because we're only supplying 110. So we're feeding both sides of the faces uh, with the one circuit. Got it. So that's why we had to do the, uh, the custom cable. Yeah. Got it. Okay, cool. So, so here we go. We'll plug this one in here. Uh, this one's a twist lock. So you just go in there. It's funny cause uh, it does kind of twist. And then the other two sides just have regular. Oh, got you. Okay. These guys. So these guys are coming into here. Here's my EV thing I was using to charge it. Yeah, and in this case, we don't need that because this panel is actually doing the thing that that does. Right, the bonding. the bonding, yeah. Yeah, the thing. And then we turn that on. The little light up there comes on. So now this is powered. And so now what we do is now we flip these switches, right? So this is line. Uh huh. That means so this is the grid. Yep. And then you can turn all these circuits off, but then if you flip it all the way up, the now generator. you're on generator. Yeah. Yeah. And now, and now I see down here what we're getting. It was zeros on the bottom for the output. Now we're looking at 700 Watts, 760 Watts. Yeah. Perfect. So now this building, everything that's on on this building is coming through this battery. The lights. That's amazing. The circuits over there. You can, yeah. you know, everything that's. And it just flickered, basically. Touch just a tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah. You could almost do this. Like, even if you have computers, if you do it fast enough, you could just. It would stay on. There you go. Okay. So you saw it here. We're powering Jehu's shop, doing the thing. A couple little batteries that also got us here because we literally ran out of juice. Yeah. And by the way, it, during that 12 hour blackout that we had here i had to use these oh you so, did because i have a building and i have employees oh and when the power's out like what do i send them home no let's pull out the batteries yeah you know? <laughs> and we plug them in that's why even this warehouse here i'm sending it up with you know our own stuff and our own battery i mean and you're talking and you're probably installing this yourself right but even if you had to pay a thousand bucks to get it installed i'm still way under what you paid for your tesla power oh yeah that's what that i mean it, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, you're, 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 uh, you're doing well. So awesome. Well, thanks, Jehu. All right. We'll uh, let you switch things back over to the <laughs> grid the there. And we'll find some more juice and get going. Yeah. So thanks for the juice. Um, but you said we can actually charge us from there while we're driving, too, like a self-charging EV? Yeah, let me show you. OK, let's see it. How do we do it? So we unplug it. And then you're going to need your 
another plug over here. Then we plug this guy in here. All right. I guess we're gonna have to close this. You gotta turn it on. Is it going? Oh. Okay. And then you have to press this. Button. Okay, we're going. So you gotta. Okay. Gotcha. And I can just drive away. Well, there's one last thing that you okay. have to do. Okay, let me see. So you have to press this little button here. So it thinks it's closed. Okay, you just hold that button? Yeah, just hold this button right here. And see if it drives. Self-charging. There we go. All right, so we made it to a Tesla supercharger. Gonna fill all the way back up and uh, head back home. But the idea, the experiment we ran through today, I think was a success. We showed that this battery is a portable gas can for your Tesla, for lack of a better term. You can charge your house with it, so it's like a Tesla power wall, but you can take it with you. And if you're doing home renovation projects, other things where you might not have access to electricity, but you need it, you can use it there as well. So. Check it out, link in the description. Thanks EcoFlow for sponsoring it. I think this is a super cool product. You'll definitely see me using it more in the future. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you back here next time.